Peace, peace, peace. You already know what it is. It is. I'm LeRon MC. That's Phoenix Scott. That's Bird Copperfield. Yeah. What y'all niggas yeah. drinking? Anybody drinking anything? What we drinking? Oh, uh, man. I'm drinking on this hot juice. Triple IPA, 10% alcohol. Coming straight up out of, um, where is this from? This San Clemente, California. I ain't never heard of San Clemente, California. No offense to y'all, but I'm from Cali and I've never heard of y'all. Shout but out to San Clemente. Clemente. Clemente? Shout San out to Clemente. San Clemente. <laughs> it tastes good though. 10% really? alcohol. Hot juice. Uh, San Clemente, ain't that over there by Rancho Cucamonga? I heard about Rancho Cucamonga. <laughs> that is where it is. Right by the desert prison. My the homeboy. Prison there called the desert. Yeah. I got a homeboy staying in Rancho. He's from the crib. I'm going to have to go visit. Yeah, I tried to get this another shot. I hate this shit so much. Uh, <laughs> lead dog peanut butter stout. Ooh. Uh, it's, yeah. It's, it's just, you know, my disdain for the peanut butter joints, man. I know. Yeah. I got, um, uh, I got Big Dogs, Stoutlandish, it's Imperial Stout. This is 10.1, mm -hmm. brothers. Okay. I got, big that's from Big Dog? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I got Ooh. White, Dragon's Milk White, the bourbon barrel aged white stout, which is, which should be interesting. Ooh. It's a white That's stout. a milk stout? It's a white stout. White, white stout. And wandering into the fog from Abomination Brewing, citrus, citra, should be citrus a foggy fog. word. Foggy, foggy, fog. Mm. What's, what's citrus good? Fog. How, how was y'all week, man? So mm. far, thus far. Man, my week's been pretty cool, man. You know, uh, Everything been everything, you know. I mean, you know, I I, I got to move into a new little spot. I won't announce where that is. You know, I want none of these crazy girls coming to my house. I love y'all, but you ain't gonna drop the address right there in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> drop, drop, drop a pin, nigga. Drop a pin, nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna drop right. a pin on that thing, right? <laughs> That's what's up. That's good shit. Congratulations on the new crib and shit. Bless the crib. Make it make it nice and cozy. I just went back to work, man. I'm real upset about that shit. I didn't want to. Oh, man. Don't nobody want to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta secure the bag some kind of way. The bag gotta keep got to. I ain't even gonna lie. My old boss just hit me back up. It was like, uh, what's up? And I'm like, fuck, man, I gotta go back to work. <laughs> Same shit. You going back? Hell yeah. I work in the kitchen, so. What the fuck Ooh. is up? This nigga came up with the sexy screen and shit. What the fuck up, man? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing up in there? You got mood lighting and shit. You set it up real nice. Look out. I set up. Like, what, you, what you on a date with yourself, motherfucker? He can't hear. Tracks. His audio must not be on yet. Yo, you know how weird like a motherfucker look when they trying to do shit with they with they uh like that computer, their phone or something. Just how they yeah, face yeah. Look how look at this nigga face. Look how you looking. <laughs> <laughs> look, yo, put captions on that shit. Like put overdubs on that shit. Like let me see right here. <laughs> Looks like this is audio right here. Oh, let me press right. this, this button over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dead no. What does this button? What does this button do? What does this do? What does Look, he gets serious now. Everybody look. Everybody look at him like this. I got my I got my earpods in. Why can't I hear it through my earpods? Is this, is this thing working? It's not. I'm supposed to hear sound out of this or something. <laughs> hey, he got a whole computer setup too. Like he got a nice little setup over there too. Oh man. Right. Nice little setup. Oh, that shit is hilarious, man. Cock sucks where I'm at. Cock sucks. So I'm gonna fix it. Sucks. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, yeah. Pause, pause, pause. pause. Oh, hey, you know that's the internet provider, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> only only motherfuckers. 
Right. Only motherfuckers that get cocks know that shit. Everybody else be like, what the fuck this nigga talking about? <laughs> Yo, nigga, I was watching. What you do yesterday, nigga? I was watching cocks, bro. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Niggas be sitting there like, pause, motherfucker. Like, nah, nigga, I was seriously watching cocks, nigga. Like, what I was on HBO, bro. <laughs> right. What you doing? Yes, yes, yes. It's fueled by good ass craft beers, even if all four of us niggas ain't drinking them. <laughs> <laughs> but but I keep hey. enough beers for everybody though, sir. Hey, you keep a nice little stash, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You you keep a nice. Hey, I went to I went to the, the rich store. That I went to Smith's. Smith. I thought I, I thought Vons was the rich store, <laughs> bro. I, I don't really know what Vons is. It, it's the same thing as like Smiths and Albertsons, but I think like Vons costs more than like both of them motherfuckers. Right. I'm going to have to go check them out because I went to Smiths. Why would you go the, check them out? They higher than the other two we just named. They, and it's the, the, it's the, the rich, same. The rich folks being there? The rich people got the IPA. <laughs> I went to Smiths. I had like five selections. I was like, damn, what do I want? Yo, I just Every got a, store I go to, I got one selection, like big dog. I, I just got a delivery. Dog. I just got a delivery. How hmm. far do they deliver? Oh, uh, not to, <laughs> not to you, nigga. You might be a little too like they deliver up to twenty miles and shit. Oh, well, they'll come to me then. Think I'm so? like, um, I'm like fifteen miles. I know right now I'm narrowing it down. I might like, barely pull make up. it. You know what I mean? Pull up. Okay, Yo, sir, yeah. Did you? I, I don't know what was just going on just now. <laughs> but I thought you was having a seizure or something. A conniption. <laughs> what was going on down there, bro? I don't know what I'm like, is, bro. I, I might like, have I don't not picked me up nothing. I might have not picked me up nothing. Y'all hear me now, man? Oh, yeah, we hear yeah. you now. Yeah, we got, we, you you know, we got a good 15 on. minutes of jokes off you, brother. I already <laughs> know, man. I already know I came on looking like a Ninja Turtle and shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> click, click, click. They can't hear me. Right yeah. Click, click. No, that shit was hella funny, man. I already know, man. Shit, man. I was running back and forth. Man, my, my, my phone died on me, and my laptop was acting retarded. So I had to use my girl's laptop. Oh. Hey, let me ask y'all a question, bro. Oh. And I already know LeRon about to get up into this anyway. Oh, uh, wait, see, you want to get serious right right away, man? We having fun. This, nah, this ain't no serious shit. Oh, okay. It's just, I heard some shit on the radio today, and they said Jay-Z and DMX going to do the 10 song. Oh. Man, yeah, DMX called him out on that, man. Yeah, man they, I don't know. I don't know if it was really a call out, man. He just was like, if I do a versus battle, I won't do it with nobody but Jay. Yeah, that's what he said. That sounds respectful to me. That ain't the same thing as Trina and Kaya and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, for me, I'm like, bro, I, I not gonna happen, man. I, I ain't never really. I, I'm a, I'm a Jay Z fan. Don't get me wrong, for sure I am. That nigga got so many dope ass lyrics. It's like, bro, I cannot deny you. Hope, hope the greatest though. The, man. the, the lyrics don't matter though. The lyrics ain't got ten of them though. What do you mean? The lyrics don't matter though. The the the, the, the big song hits is what matters though. Okay, let's test that, bird. <laughs> let's test that. All right, we got oh. what you bitches want. What you bitches want. We got Slip. what's my name. The That's first it. one. Slipping. Got, uh, they don't know. Slipping. Da -da, da -da. I'm slipping. I'm falling. Slipping. I can't get up. Can't get up oh, you got to put that in there. Slipping up, falling, bro. Uh, they, don't, they don't know. Is that that? Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. <laughs> What's the name? The dress, the trees, yeah. the lawn. He <laughs> was just naked. Stress. The mom. He was in it. It's a DMX hit. The uh, mama. The dog. Hey, but, hey, but DMX was the only nigga to kill Jay Z in a in a in a battle though. I heard that. I mean, that real battle. That's like a. We talking about this ten song. Nah, what battle are you talking about? Hit. You talking about when he was like. Put it pissed right across his windpipe. The, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the back stage, the back Yo, he, he killed that shit, boy. That's yes, old me, school, bro. like old school video footage. Yo, you yeah. know y'all some real hip hop niggas. If I could just say that line right there, y'all know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, bro. Pissed right across the windpipe. Well, so look, it was. <laughs> we got, we got, we 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 got to run through the names. I don't know what the name, the name of that is, but That's, they don't know. They don't know. They don't know what these bitches want. Right. Slipping. Yep. 
the very first one. Where my dog's slipping at? Slipping hard, though. Slipping hard. Come on, man. Come on. Don't distract us. We trying rough, to get rough riders anthem. That, uh, rough riders that anthem. Rough riders anthem. Party that party out on my east side. Up. Meet me down south. What that party shit? Okay, and then um uh uh I don't know da da da. I ain't saying nothing. What's on y'all niggas' minds? Fucking with. Was that a hit? Was that considered a hit? No. No, bro. Okay, so that's six. definitely got more hits than DMX does. Of course yeah. he does. What's of course he does. What's the ultimate, ultimate DMX song that he, you know what I'm saying, that he had the video for? The, uh, the, uh, uh, uh what's what the, the deal? That's the anthem. Take it ass face down. Like, oh, you yeah. breathe it, but you dead yeah. from the waist down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying, man. It's not team. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, it's hard to do that. Yeah, you're DMX right. on the face, like, right there, out there with, Without Cisco and shit, like I, just, I know like, we forgetting like, some, bro. I know we forgetting some, but it shouldn't be that good. We got yeah, se- we got the are. seven. Let's do Jay. Ooh, Jay got a lot. Bro. Are not life. No, it's a lot of Are them, not bro. life, bro. I was hearing that a lot today. Bro, bro. Hey, listen, man. This we got. Let me let me let me teach you something real quick, Jesse. You, we have to. We can't get through the list if you start explaining after every one. Let's just drop a name. So, <laughs> girls, girls, girls. Hard Not Life. Hard Not Change Life. Clothes. Uh, Change song Clothes. Cry. Song Cry. Song Cry. H to the Izzo. Yup. Uh, Big Pimpin'. Um, shit. Encore. Encore. Um, Me and my girlfriend. Do that count? Me and my New girlfriend? York. 86 no, Bonnie and Clyde. Yep, that New yeah, York shit. Good. That was a mega smash motherfucking hit. This the anthem of New York. York. God damn, I mean, it's, it's endless. He, he winning already. <laughs> yeah, he already won. Uh, what's that, what's that joint with uh, just, uh, uh, Justin Timberlake? Then you go back to the him and Myth Bleak Day. Uh, um, uh, with Justin Timberlake, it's... Uh, encore, Encore. Is it Encore? Right. God damn. No. Encore. Who did And he had the song with, um, with that one dude, the gay dude, when he was like, Gay and dude. a task in the road with the sailing lady. Oh, uh, Frank Ocean. That shit hard as fuck. That's the shit, bro. Uh, that riding, that be that bike joint. But but that was a Frank Ocean joint though. Yeah, that was Frank Ocean shit. Yeah. They had some. I mean, so that song, one so the ten. That song but, hella dope though on the low, man. That bike yeah, shit. That ride, yeah, yeah. That's Tyler was riding, the joint too. It's called riding. BMX, Jay Z yeah, should but, have. Uh, that shit biking happened. is riding or biking or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that shit cold have, as fuck. Have you heard any of Jay Z new shit? Uh, 444. Uh, after 444? I've heard 444. No, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping. Not Jay Z. I mean DMX. No. Uh, no. Bruh, his no, whole style no. is different. He's techno now. So, I uh, have not. Yes. I don't, I don't believe that. I have so, not. Bruh, listen to his newest album. I, I thought he was doing Christian rap. Techno. No, nah, I ain't doing no Christian rap. He been preaching. It might not be techno. It might be electronica or something to that, you know, to that nature. But it, it's definitely the boom, do, 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 do. Like he's techno down, bro. Right, that's that's, go, nigga, that's, that's EDM, not DMX. You know what? EDM. <laughs> <laughs> He said, typed in the wrong letters on YouTube. That's all I'm like, bro, this DMX is this my nigga who be like, I love my, you know what I'm saying? I, he don't hey, do that no Let's go to R&B Soul since that, since that's, I mean, that, that's all our lines, but you know, you like to sing, sing. So, uh, Jelly and Badubla Ablangada. Ah. Everybody do with Jill Scott. See, I, I had this discussion this morning on the way to work, bro. It was crazy. You shouldn't do that either. You should not do that because Erica has more hits that's on the face. She has more hits. Yeah. Definitely. May radio from Windows. There ain't no but. No but. Yeah. No, no but. but. I just feel, I just no feel but. like Jill Scott no about that. is the Erica more got talented that. artist. The part. What? It's like me, I'm a Jill Scott nigga, bro. Don't, I, I can't. Don't I matter. Can't, it don't matter what we. It matters the hits. The hits matter. Hits. It will be Erica Badu. Hits at the hits, man. It's hits. They gotta be the hit maker. They gotta be a hit maker, man. If you're an artist, you know you know how to make hits. And I love Jill Scott. Don't get it twisted. I love living my life like it's golden. I can start naming some that I, I put get it. Up. I put it to you. This she way. got some joints. I put it to you. The roots. She come out with the roots. But I put it to you this way. I I'm more susceptible to run through Jill's. I mean, Badu's catalog than I am Jill's. 
Yeah, for yeah. sure. And that's 1,000. My my girl uh, listened to a whole bunch of Jill joints. Miss but but, but I, I fuck with Badu like heavy. It don't matter my personal opinion, but like if it did, like I listen to more Badu shit than I do See, Jill. Scott. I'm on Jill. I feel like I'm Badu speaks to a wider range of uh, it's more it's more hip hop influence. Music, yeah. yeah. Well, everybody can more hear hip hop and, and relate. It's Jill Scott. She talked that shit for everybody, but then most of the songs are speaking women empowerment and more women shit, and I love it. It still sounds good, but that's for them. You know what I'm saying? So See, Jill danger, Scott to danger. What Jill going to play that's going to top Danger? Right, man. Probably nothing. That's a point. But I feel her music more. I'm going to feel like this. This is why I love Jill Scott so much. My last few months in a very bad situation, Jill Scott had that song you just named, Bird, Live My Life Like It's Golden. The first word to that song was, I'm taking back I'm my taking freedom. My freedom. Mm -hmm. That was my motto. For the next month, it was taking back my listen, freedom. When I went Nothing. through shit, when I was going through shit, I heard Erica tell him, my eyes are green because I eat a lot of vegetables and they don't have nothing to do it with don't have nothing you. Do. You feel me? And that right there helped me go through some shit. So I feel what you're saying when it's a certain part that did it, but Erica did it. Like, Eric, uh, uh, with the hits, Erica got it. With the hits, that song even lasted for like ten minutes. That's a ten-minute song, nigga. She overdid it for me. But that's not even considered a hit. So you talking? Uh, did, you talking? Did. Didn't you know? You yeah. talking? Um, oh man, yeah. I was born underwater with three dollars and six dollars. we go on Erica on. versus Lauren Hill, like on the face. Lauren Hill got some face. Erica. Because Lauren, okay, so do do the Fuji shit count with Lauren? Yeah, with Boogie, anything that Lauren on the face of face. But she no, ain't on the face no, of them joints, bro. She just got a verse no, on them. It, it, yeah, then it's not hers. It's like album wise. But the miseducation of Lauren Hill topped everything Erica Badu ever did. Bro. That's a lie. Yeah, I disagree. But it topped everything she ever did. Hey, right? yo, no, that, that, that that album is classic. Yo, oh, top classic. that, bro. <laughs> No. That album is classic oh, all the way through, no. man. That's no incorrect. That's no incorrect. No one song, artist no one song be, Erica can do that fucking any me. song on, 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 Jill, on, on Lord Hill's Miseducation. No one song. None of them because that ain't her style. She don't do that type of music. And furthermore, Erica writing all her own shit. Lauren barely wrote anything on the Miseducation. And yeah, let's and, not forget. And the Erica background singers. Too. Were. And the background singers was other motherfuckers too. The musicians was other motherfuckers. The background but we singers. We talking was other about hits though. We not okay, talking about that. that. But that's what I'm saying. You I mean, messed up your own point by too, saying right that now, every. Bro. Hold on. You messed up your own point by saying that because considering if you take every song off of the Miseducation, they were not considered hits. There was only the X Factor. Um, Basically, yeah. That's it. That's it. No, yeah. everything is everything after winter must come spring. That joint, everything from that album basically was her face cards and the rest. No, no, of no. The this is what I'm saying about hits. Everything is everything. What she had videos for made were the hits. Everything yeah. is everything. When she had the record spinning all over the city, yeah. doo wop. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that thing, that thing. Nothing even matters. That wasn't a hit, bro. Wasn't a hit, bro. They still play. That's a hit. No, it wasn't. That was that a hit. Was either D'Angelo's or Lawrence. No, that was a hit. It to be. That was a hit to us, but that wasn't a hit to mainstream shit. Exactly. Everything is everything. Doo Wop and X Factor were Lauren Hill's hits off of that album. I don't know, man, because they still play that song to this day. What that mean? They still play uh motherfucking. So what's up with uh what's up with the male R and B uh old school artists? Who are we putting up against Darnell Jones? Darnell Jones. Don't do that. Don't do that. Who, who Don't even do that. Who putting up against him? Who gonna go against Darnell Jones on hit? I mean, he is not face card hits. That's what's crazy. I mean, you can't I mean, even really okay. do that because Darnell Jones' face card hits ain't shit. He How many have albums did he no have? Face. He got three. I think I only heard two, maybe. He got like four albums. He got the first, the life something. Then he had the... You know that you love me. And then he yeah, had yeah, another yeah. one that came right after that. He had like four all together. But I'm gonna tell you like this: Daniel Jones and Hit Era. As mind you, I'm the biggest fucking Daniel Jones fan you know. 
Yeah. Usher, as far as hits, fucked him over. Oh, shit. Mm. Usher did come and do that as far as... Usher fucked him over. And they came through like this, boy. He can't do that. What the fuck you read, That's that Usher, nigga. That's how that nigga broke his shoulder when he that one time he dislocated. And I love Donnell Jones, bro. I love that. Like, I know damn near all of this nigga stuff. The R&B male groups. R&B male groups. Who got the face card between Boyce the Man and Jodeci? Boyce the Man. They did it over over Jodeci. If you talking they have, about, so, you they talking have about way hits. more Grammys. You talking about hits? They have way yeah, more hits. Sure. If you talking about personal we preference, done. it's Jodeci. But if you are talking about uh, hits, mainstream yeah. hits, it's okay. Boys to Men. Yeah, it's Boys to Men. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like Laron, they can play music exactly around like the world. Yeah, I agree with Laron. When you talk about mainstream Jodeci, when you talk about hits, Boys to Men, they got Grammys. They they in. What's that song? Uh, song? Other way around. We, we know what you mean. Other way okay, around. Okay, so so what collab would you rather hear? Capone and Noriega's collapse or Redman and Method Man collapse? Redman and Red. Uh, Wait, hold on, hold on. What do you mean? First of all, that's two different things, bro. I'm saying, hey. like, as far as two, like, you know, a group. Uh, like nah, nigga. You got to put the same group. type of groups together. You can't put CNN. CNN, some street oh, niggas, some dope, some dope boy, whatever, whatever, right? Like, you know, man, and nothing there was some street niggas. They said, No, man, they're a different kind of street nigga, bro. <laughs> some you, clown street niggas. <laughs> yo, I know it's different we types. Gotta put, <laughs> we got to put Prodigy. Oh, it's different okay. types of street it's, niggas. <laughs> thank, thank you. So from it's a street nigga. It's different types of street niggas. It's certainly so different. I'm a street nigga, but I ain't gonna have a street nigga. Right. <laughs> let, let me explain. And then, and then you can chime in whether you think so or not. I'm really actually appalled that niggas is even questioning the fact that there are different kinds of street niggas. And we all from the same street, so we know these niggas. I'm a street nigga, but I ain't the same type of street I'm nigga that'll go run up in your mama crib, fuck the dog, and shoot the babies, and go to jail for 40 years. Not me, nigga. <laughs> ain't no nigga. If that's the case, we all street I'm just niggas. Saying, no, that's not true, motherfucker. You knew corny ass niggas at your when you was growing up, and them niggas oh, weren't yeah, street man. niggas. You knew three niggas or four. These niggas I know to this day that I know they ain't street niggas, but they they show do act tough. Like a motherfucker. That, that ain't that ain't street niggas. They just niggas acting tough. Exactly. I know. I'm I'm a street nigga, but I ain't the same street nigga as. Bird was a street nigga when he was in the streets, and I'm not gonna put out there what because I've seen this nigga. I know I've known this nigga since he was what nine, ten I'm years just old. Because like Red Man, he be out there. He was out there. Kind he of. he is, he was, but he, he was wasn't young, the same. Hot head, I beat the shit out of a nigga. So look, do you Man. think that you think DC Young Fly is a street nigga? Fuck no, nigga. He, he yeah. is though, bro. I do. And nigga's a street he, nigga. He's he just is. a goofy ass street, street nigga. nigga bro. I think that's a and nigga, that's why that's. Do, do you think DC Young Fly and DMX is the same kind of street nigga? Fuck no. Your mix going to rob you for your chain. I rest, flag I rest my case. Hey, hey, but, if, but, if you peep, but if you peep on the show, though, or while and out, the only the street niggas hang out with each other. Carlos, uh, DC Young Fly. Oh, man, I don't watch the show enough, man. I would never know who the hell you yeah, talking I, about. I don't, I don't watch it enough to know either. Carlos, he's fools. No five. The Southsiders. The Southsiders. <laughs> it's different types of street niggas, man. It's you got different type of street, street niggas that went to school, and he, he really smart, but he's so sharp with his street game that he can get you without doing nothing. Then you got right. a street nigga that's finna so just run up on you and on rob you. That, we, on, we on the you subject of street, different types of street niggas, right? Yeah. Today's day and age, man. Uh, you got people like Tory Lanez. This nigga said <laughs> he will work. He said he will work. With six nine, that's his boy. He don't give a fuck what he did. Ain't fuck with feel him. like that's justified. Like he can do that. Like you can just. He's supposed to be a real street nigga himself. So you who? Can tell me you gonna fuck with six nine? The, the streets of Canada, nigga. That's who said. Yeah, six say that's he who? with the shit. That's who. The six. But I'm gonna that. tell you like this. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you like this. <laughs> the six. What makes? And I ain't never snitched on a nigga in my life. I didn't get time for not snitching on niggas. But what makes a snitch not a street nigga? Oh, who? They snitched. I ain't, you was cutting out. You said what makes a what now? What, what makes, makes a snitch, snitch not, not a street nigga? What makes nigga? a snitch not a street nigga? Because you just broke the G code, homie, dude. You got to go back to the juvenile CD, nigga. <laughs> and you're not a, no, so I'm saying, so you're not a violating street nigga? You're not right. a street nigga at you, all? 
You're still a street nigga. I mean, I guess she was a, you was a Because I'm going to tell you, the violated. game has changed, bro. Like, you be in prison with snitches. Violations you in don't matter no more. Do with snitches, nigga. Hey, yeah, look, violations look. don't matter no more. Hey, listen, have any of y'all heard that story about that cat uh, that used to run with Pusha T? The one who went to the, church? The big ass street? Nah, his, that was his brother, nigga. Oh. <laughs> he said the one that went to church. Not no malice, man. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, but out. listen, Malice is a part of that story because when, when Drake and Pusha got into it, Drake was talking about Pusha T wasn't really the big kingpin that he was talking about. It was some other niggas. It was, it was some other niggas and then it was Malice and then it was Pusha, like lower down on the line. You remember that song that Pusha T made called Snitch? Sorry, nigga, I'm trying to come home with uh, Pharrell singing in the hook. I, don't, I, don't I remember, but I don't remember the words, but I remember what song he talking about. Hey, basically, the song was about some nigga that would, you know, he was telling some, some, some glory street tales where he was selling all this dope, and the nigga hit him, and one of his homeboys got locked up and shit, and the nigga hit him up and started, like, you know, talking real finicky on the phone and shit, and um, it, was, it was like, sorry, nigga, I'm trying to come home. So that was supposed to be a real-life story of a dude who had went to who had got locked up for the dope boy, the real dope boy shit that they was talking about, and he went and snitched, and he got out. And that is a real fucking account, and I can't think of dude's name. But they had a whole, um, like, interview with Cat, and he was talking about, he was talking about the whole, like, the whole thing. Like, he was a real street nigga. Like, they didn't kill motherfuckers, ran up in spots, sold hella motherfucking dope, but he snitched to get home. I don't, like Ty saying, I don't take his street cred away to the extent of like all the work that he put in. He just, it's violated look, the game. He just violated the game. He just violated the game. I mean, if it was anything like it was back in 93, coming home would be like coming to lay down. Word. But the nigga got out of jail, bruh. The nigga got out of jail and met, and, um, he, when he was on this interview, he had like his uh, social media hashtag on his hat and shit. And niggas in the comments was like, only in America can a snitch, in this era, can a snitch come home and self-promote. <laughs> he, put it, he put the pin on his address. Yo, the location. Dude, dude was making money and everything, bro. Like, it ain't even fucking matter. I, so, you know, honestly, is it a G-Code still? Man, look, it's like this. I did time in the feds, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and put that out there since don't nobody, you know, I never put that out there before. So I'm going to tell you like this. You got 30 days to show your paperwork. If you snitch, you're getting fucking stabbed, bro. Like, yeah. Period. I keep on the streets, I keep on the life. streets, if you snitch, you're just a normal nigga. Damn. So you just got to make it in, in and out of the joint. If you can make it out the joint without getting shot and killed, you good in the street. They gonna forget about everything. Nobody give a fuck, bro. You put a put a post on Facebook and say somebody killed somebody. What would you do? I and got a I'm question. Like, I'm telling because I got kids. I got a question. Everybody, I, I see it all the time. <laughs> who, who do you have to? Who do you, who who who's giving you this ultimatum of uh, this time frame of thirty days to show your paperwork? To who who are you showing your paperwork to? So yeah, in the that's fed, the first they thing have some how you know, Jess? You've been in, in the, the Fed. They got something called red. Yes, I have. Been. In you been in the pen, nigga? Wait, hold on. Uh, I want to hear this story. No, nah, the guy. I've been locked up before, but I ain't been in no fucking pen. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> just, just been in down. The state, they got nigga, we all from the G, bro. Shit. In the Fed. In I'm the from fed, the G. I'm got... deep from the G, and I ain't never been to that shit. Thank yeah. God. No, you I, don't. 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 <laughs> I, I'm old now, nah, nigga. What I look yeah. like going to jail now? Nah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> shit. Hey, that shit, that shit like surviving R. Kelly right there. I already there. know, nigga. I already know. I, I'm like, shit. Hey, I, I was in jail for a couple hours, and I was like, I can't do it. Hell no. Hey, I was in there for a minute. I'm telling you, my last telly was 60-something, bro. But I'm going to tell you like this. You got 30 days to show your paperwork. You show it. We got to something who? called black. It's something called black reps. It, it, they call reps. You got a, a Serenio rep for the Mexicans. You got a, a Pisces rep. For the Mexicans, the other Mexicans, you had a black rep for the black people. You had a white rep for the black people. For the white people, when you go into prison, 
Your rep approaches you the moment you step in. The CO tells him, hey, somebody black coming here. And so the black rep approaches approaches me and says, hey, bro, what's up, man? You got your paperwork? Like, man, I don't got it. Well, you got 30 days to get that. Like, why? Because we need to make sure that you're not a pedophile or a snitch. You come with your paperwork. If you don't, you get something called DP, which is called disciplinary. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have your paperwork proving that you're not a snitch or a pedophile, you get fucking stabbed, nigga. So Seriously. niggas, so niggas is up there with like their own like prison justice system type shit. Oh, yeah. yeah, they really do have that shit. Uh, yeah. and politics is a motherfucker, bro. Oh, like, yeah. Cause so I how did just you, so how did you get Burr, How did you get away with uh, tucking your papers, bro? What? What you mean? I, I said I kept my papers in my pocket. That's what I mean. Like, Tucked in your pocket, motherfucker. No, nah, the thing is, keeping it in my pocket is so oh, that I Oh, so you kept it on you at all times. Yeah, right, like, right, right, don't okay, ever I get come you. to me about my paperwork, nigga. I was like, ching, ching. Oh, you just <laughs> pull it out. Get your ass up out of my face. Yeah, I did that, nigga. You see that? That's the motherfucking this, that, and the other. You feel me? I got my Fs, you feel me? Man, that's crazy, bro. I commend y'all niggas for uh, being able to go through that shit. I know. And I'm it's gonna... not even that I wanted to do it on the strength of, oh, I need to talk to a big homie or a big rep about it. It was on some, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I need to get the trust of some people up in this motherfucker. So, hey, what you do? And they'd be like, I did this. And they'll pull out their paperwork. And I'd be like, oh, I did this. And we'll be matching paperwork with time. Like, okay, so they might give me this oh, yeah. much time. Or they might give me this much time on the strength of I only did this or that. And then I'm talking to them. What you do? Let me see your paperwork. You know what I'm saying? So I'm getting the trust of a couple of people around me. I know your names. I know your addresses. I know a lot of shit about y'all niggas right now. So we might as well rock real quick because it just balls to the wall. up. That's wild, man. See, I was on some different shit. Like, I was on some old, uh, we, we, we throw what we call paperwork parties. Where was you at? Oh, shit. <laughs> paperwork <laughs> parties. Paperwork to the way. Yeah, it's a paperwork party. A nigga, if a nigga have a contest with another nigga, like, where your paperwork, nigga? Where your paperwork? And a nigga really, <laughs> <laughs> and a nigga really bucking butt. Now, it's on, it's on some, uh, what they call a car. So a car is, a car is, if I'm from the Bay Area, I'm in the Bay Area car. If I'm from LA, I'm in the LA car. If I'm from Gary, Indiana, I'm from a Gary, Indiana car. If I'm in California and I'm from Gary, Indiana, you're not in no car because you're not from Cali. But you have to be in the Midwest. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Where is you? Where, man, where your (laughs) feds at? Yeah, this is some California shit. That's the California shit. That's the Cali shit, right? I'll 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 the fucking ass gang on gang on gang on state. Oh, yeah. on gang. We love some gang bang shit gang. for real. And when niggas get in the fight, everybody fighting, nigga. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> it's a, it, what, hey, yeah, if a Mexican meet up a black person, all the black people are fighting all the Mexicans. Where, and then we make up the next day and act like ain't nothing happened. Where were you? I did. Huh? Pelican I'm in DC, LA, and I didn't tell him. Pelican Bay. Pelican Bay. Have all you niggas in Pelican Bay. I didn't tell him in DC, LA, and I started off in uh, Victorville. Victorville is, they call it Gladiator City. I know where. you walk in there, if you don't got your shit, you can stab. I know where Burr was at. Where, where was you at, Jess? Was you at the crib or you was out here? Out here, man. CCDC. I was in fucking, I was facing a felony. Ugh. You beat it. I'm here, nigga. <laughs> hey, man, good shit. Congratulations, man. I always do. Another man. thing with these police, bro, in, in, in a place like Vegas. I've they be told, one up in you, bro. I've been told by cops, three black men walking down the street is a game. Mm-hmm. They're going to harass. Yeah, yeah, they really do. So, February 23rd, 2020. Ahmad Arbery, a 25-year-old African-American man, was shot dead while running near Brunswick, Georgia. Arbery was unarmed and running on a road when he was chased, then confronted by three white men with a pickup truck. And there were two separate pickup trucks. So uh, Gregory McMichael, his son, Travis McMichael, and William Roddy, Brian were the ones that did that shit. Hold on, let me see if I can. Wow. 
And now I saw the video, uh, I'm not gonna play the video, but I saw the video. The first video that I saw was bad, but it wasn't as bad as the other video that I ended up finding. And I kind of wish I hadn't watched that shit because it had me enraged, like ridiculously enraged. Wow. Uh, let's try this right here. Before I get into it, like you see, you see where a dude is in that truck right there, right? Right. This is the pops. There's a dude, the Roddy dude behind him is the one that's driving the truck that's holding the camera. Right. So Duke was jogging, right? At the beginning of the video, you can see Duke jogging. He tried to run on the other side of the truck, but they cut him off and dude runs over there with him. This dude. Yeah. And you see dude trying to fight for his life and shit. And they said that because he attacked them is why they shot. They shot. Dude shot him close range with a shotgun. Twice. What the fuck? So this is this is the story. This is the story that I got. Um, Duke, Duke Ahmad. Um, and I don't mean no disrespect when, I, when I'm saying dude, this is, you know, I just mean dude. But uh, Ahmad was run, was jogging. Supposedly he was going on a, um, a jog. Like he do, a, his mama said he do this jog like all the time. Like jog in the morning, just regular, normal, like jogging and shit. Yeah. And um, some dude calls the police and tells the police that they seen a suspect burglarizing uh, an abandoned home. The home was abandoned because it was being worked on. So it had no it was it was no enclosure. And they were saying that by law you can't burglarize something with no enclosures, like no doors or you know what I'm saying? You have to break into something to be able to burglarize it as far as the law is concerned. Right. <clears throat> Cause then you're just trespassing, right? Right. So um you can hear the dude, he sound redneck as hell. Yeah, there he goes right there. He's he's running right there. There you go, running. So they sent, they, they, I guess they were supposed to be sending the police, but this dude, the father claims that he he recognized the dude from the burglaries because that community had been being burglarized, apparently, from them saying a lot of times. So dude said he recognized him from the burglary. He grabbed his son and he went and um, they went, they grabbed their guns, a shotgun and a 357 Magnum. Damn. Word. And they went to go get him. Which, first of all, I think the pops was an ex-cop. For one, like, y'all not cops. What you going to go get him for? So they goes and they say they're going to get him. Uh, and that's when... Now, I'm going to ask you just personally... If you out jogging, bro, and some white dudes come up to you, one of them standing on the truck. I mean, this guy, think about being in this situation. Yeah. Because uh, we've been in situations kind of similar to this. And not, it, didn't, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't end, fortunately, it didn't end the way that this ended. But we've been in situations like this with cops and, like, racist yeah. motherfuckers as well. Um. Because we could have been on the news, uh, me and Pooh could have been on the news some years ago uh, when we were staying in, uh, in that one apartment in Green Bay. Right, I remember that shit. And we came outside and somebody was like, something, something, nigger. And, I, you know, I, I thought I was thugging back then and shit. But I'm like, I just, I didn't, I didn't know where it came from. I just yelled out, don't say that shit in the crib. Come outside and say that shit. And I ain't hear nothing. So we get in the car and we pull out. You remember the the apartments were parallel to each other. Um, where where like our bedroom, like our living room window, uh, or bedroom window slash day bedroom window was directly parallel to each other. Mm -hmm. So we get in the car, we back up, we pull out. While we driving through that, you remember that little um it was kind of like a 
It was the same apartment complex, but it was split by a driveway. Yeah, yeah, the driveway on the side. Yep. We we driving down there, and I look up, and I see this dude with this big ass gun. You couldn't see the top of it. You couldn't see the bottom of it. He cocked it, pumped, and aimed it down at the car and shit. Wow. And I just froze because I'm I'm like, what the fuck? And like, poop, smashed my foot down and hit the gas, and we shot forward and shit. And I ended up going to, I just pulled over at a gas station and shit, and Pooh got on the phone and she called 911 and shit. When the police came, they they went to the apartment that we described, they kicked the door in and arrested the dude for um, being intoxicated and holding and aiming the pistol, I mean, the shotgun at somebody. And um, I think they said that he was watching the football game and somebody he didn't like uh, did some shit to his team or whatever. And so he wanted to take it out on us because we were the first black people that he's seen and shit. But I mean. Wow. Imagine that could imagine, be a day because imagine that. this, that's, that's the reason. Like, yo, right. and we got, we got a thousand of those stories, but Ahmad, uh, there, there are there are people. I don't know if this if it would be considered playing devil's advocate or not. But there are people that are saying things like, "He should have ran the other way. He shouldn't have tried to fight the person with the gun." Wait, like, okay, listen. Being in a situation like what he and you being blocked off, and like, I mean, I don't know if he saw guns immediately. But you well, he ha- he would have had to seen that shotgun because that motherfucker was long. I'm saying, but what if it was like laying in the bed of the gun and the dude was just standing on top and holding the thing? So you just seeing this shit. If you ain't see a gun immediately, you might just question the situation. Like, yo, what the fuck going on? You know, I'm missing the point too, uh, brother. He, uh, the white dudes when they approached him in the truck, they they yelled out to him to stop. Okay. Because they, because I guess they white and they're in the figures of authority, but they yelled at him to stop because they wanted to talk to him. So he now, wanted to keep running past that. So you walking down the street, some motherfuckers you don't know pull up and tell you to stop aggressively. They want to talk to you about something. I don't know these niggas. What the fuck I'm going to stop for? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, that shit, it's fucked up. That shit not happen. It just shouldn't have happened. It ain't no other way of putting it. Like, oh, he should have ran the other way or this. This shit shouldn't have just happened to this man. No, it's no way of saying how somebody would have responded to anything that's happening to them right then at that moment. Right, you don't know. Everybody is different. Everybody's reactions is different. A bigger guy might rush everybody and want to knock all their ass down. A little guy might want to run off. A female might do this. A Nick, you know, just people are different. Like he was already jogging, so he the type that already feel like. Shit, this is what I do. If he wanted to fight, that's just what he wanted to do. The point is, you shouldn't have ran up on the man. You know what I'm thinking, too? You know what I'm thinking, too? In that situation, you got several... um, You got several options. But I think two of the main options, and I'm just speaking for myself, would be fight or flee. So you can either run and... In that hope moment, you and hope, word, hope you don't get shot in your back, or you could be like, yo, maybe it's a chance I could take this motherfucking shotgun out this dude's hands. And I've been, I've, I've just been, I'm outside jogging. Obviously, this guy keeps up with his health. He keeps up with some kind of physique. Right. He has some kind of... And you look at these tool. motherfuckers, and they just look like some heavy... Oh, yeah, I'm, not gonna kill yeah, I'm not going to run off so that y'all can play bust me in my back and I got a zigzagged up and down the street until I get away. That's, that's not, he felt like he was ready to stand his ground, you know? So he fought for his life and, and got killed. Anybody to say that these people shouldn't be arrested for what they did, how they came at him and he shouldn't, it ain't nothing he did wrong in that situation. You only got two options. He could have ran and been zigzagging yeah. up the street, getting shot at and chased down and probably ran the fuck yeah. over these niggas in F-150s and shit. And Trey 5-7s, god damn, they'll blow your back out. That's what I'm saying. So you come to the party with a 357 Magnum and a shotgun. 
And they was looking you to kill somebody. Talk, right, you want to talk to somebody? Now, let me tell you what I think, what it looked like to me. And it may be because I've been watching too many movies that has this dynamic. But, like, y'all tell me what y'all think, too. To me, it feels like... So they were, they were big, thick, cornbread, hillbilly, hunting-ass motherfuckers. I think one of the pictures that they showed was them sitting over some animal that they had killed, the hunt. It almost feels to me like Duke was like, I'm going to give my son his first kill. You know what I'm saying? So the, the father was in the back of the truck. Let me play that shit again after I, after I say this. The father was in the back of the truck kind of overseeing the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, if right. it wasn't that, why wouldn't he get out of the truck to go help his son? He just kind of stood back and overseeing it. So, like, I feel like if Duke was overpowering, if, if Amar was overpowering his son, he got, he got a good position with that 357 from, from the back of the truck to take him out. And it just so happened. We don't know what was being said because we don't hear no audio. Who's to say they weren't cheering his son on? Right. There's a moment, and they show it. There's a moment when they when he shot the uh, shotgun the first time. You can see where the impact landed in his shirt, as far as like the blood stains where his shirt was. And dude was like falling forward because you get shot close range with a shotgun, you're gonna be fucked up, right? Right. He falling forward, and Duke lets off another one. Bah! And then that's when he hit the ground. Two shots from a shotgun is is not. It looked like some hunting shit. The way dude walked off after he shot him twice and dude hit the ground, he walked off like he had accomplished something. They, they, so an hour ago it says the has released the mugshots. They were arrested for the murder. That's good. Yeah, they got mugshots of. Uh, Who was it that caught that shit on camera? The one of the dudes that was with them. Wow, so they set that shit up. That's what I, I believe that. Look, you probably you ain't gonna hear the audio, but look at dude back there. What is he doing? Don't it look like he encouraging him? Yep. He was going up and down like get him. Like get him, yep. Go get that nigga. Yep. Hold up. Let me put make sure that this shit go through it again. Oh no, they been popping this book. Yeah, they was just out to kill some shit, bro. Yeah, that was their intention. I feel like that was their yeah. intention when they hit the when they, when they hit the scene. All right, I'm not finding it. Hold on. Have you seen the video, Jess? No, man. I don't even. I don't want to see the shit. Bro. You got to see it though. Look, so there's the fight. So you, you see many niggas get shot. Look, shot. man, the way he came, the way he came. You see how that is. Yeah, like Duke he ain't doing out to help him. He ain't doing that. He back there like he like, like yo. He I'm trying to be like, let me knock here. this dude out and get this gun. He holding the gun like, don't shoot me. Punched him like, let me knock this dude out and get this gun. Man, oh wow, bro, this shit is crazy, man. Look at Duke. Yeah, he cheering him on, bro. Look at Duke. What is he doing, yo? Is he loading his shit? His shit <laughs> is he loading his shit because it looked like he might be overpowering his son? Look at that. He said the pro the prosecutor saw no grounds for arrest. What is he doing, yo? Look at the dude on the truck, man. Tell me what he doing. He encouraging but him. Up, either bro. he putting a beer to his mouth. <laughs> yeah. or, he, or he saying something and shit and wiping his face like he ain't worried about this. He la is he laughing? Type shit. Because like, when, boy, you because better not look, let him take that gun from you, boy. Because when he told him, when he look at him running, jogging, look like he jogging. Don't look like he running from nothing, do it. No, he was jogging. Yes, he he had a steady rhythm pace, bro. He ain't sprinting no uh, nothing like that, trying to get away from nothing. I don't even know, man. All right, so uh, so we in agreement that that looks really, really shiesty, right? Yeah. 
It looks That's really shy. Ten percent shy. It looks like it looks like they came to they did what they came to do. That's what we agree upon, right? Yeah. All right. Now this this leads into another conversation. Now I want to know what y'all think, and then I have some like I wrote a long. I was seeing a bunch of stuff on my Facebook page today, my timeline, and I wrote a long ass post, and I ended up deleting it because it was getting too long. And the points that I wanted to get out or like kind of talk about, it's just better to have a conversation about it than to just, you know what I'm saying, post that shit on Facebook. I've been seeing a lot of people saying a lot of stuff, man, a lot of big time, big mind, tough mind team stuff about what they would do otherwise and would do. And I just don't, I don't agree with it. I'm not going to call anybody's names, but I'm going to read something. And it's gonna go. It's gonna take us into another conversation, but it's the same conversation, but it kind of links up. How is it people of color can come together easy and protest when the police or KKK kill an unarmed black man, but we never protest when our own kill each other? Why we get quiet now? Who killed Ray Ray? No protest. No outrage. Nothing. Just, bruh, when those new Jordans come out. Fix the recipe, people. Now, before y'all respond to that, my question is, do you think that we the only group of people, race of people, who when things like this happen, we, we tend to turn on our own? Like, why is that? Why do you, do you for, well, before we get into why is that, do you think that that's, that that's a palpable argument? Uh, uh, man, that sounds like some shit you read on Fox News. For one, it's not. It's somebody that I know. Oh my god. Um, I, I, I feel like you know, one race been brainwashing another race for many years. That's many right. years been working on these brains, been trying to do this to people. And um, you know, some people have let it, you know, it is what it is now. You know, this is how they look at things. They don't look at things in the perspective of like if it's happening to them, they always just like we're just turning on each other. I don't know. I think I, I really feel like, you know, like I said, just that, that, that other race that was brainwashing that other race got us talking like them. Like that didn't even sound like that comes from a person of color. Talking about how can people of color come to, first off, why are you calling yourself, why are you calling us of color? Just and let me get your opinion. All of for one man, it feel like it sounds like a person that's ashamed to even be black. Cause they put the, they put they, they put themselves in a perspective like they ain't part of the people. You know what I'm saying that they talking about. Yeah, I don't know, that shit was kind of odd, man. But I, I I I guess I sense I sense that I get the anger that they the anger that they getting from it. I, I understand it in, in in a way, but like to think like but to think that way, it's kind of like. Degrading like yo 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 peoples, you know what I'm saying? I I, I always feel like as a people tribally, like we family, and you don't you don't um if you somewhere with somebody from your family, you want your family to look good, right? Like you don't you don't bicker amongst your family in front of the enemy or right. or somebody else's family or the oppressor. You don't give people shit to hold over your family. Right. I think comments like these is one of the things as to why when white people be like, cause like we always, they get into it and they be like, oh, black, black lives don't matter until woo 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 And um, they use that, that white people, like not all white, I'm not, I gotta see, you gotta say not all white people cause I know right. like whatever, whatever. Yeah. I don't want everybody to be offended. Just the motherfuckers who the shoe fit need to put that shit yeah. on and lace it up. But yeah. here's another one. There was a young lady, there was a young black lady from Gary 
who was shot and burned to death in Indianapolis. There was a young black lady, and this is on a whole nother, this on a whole nother thing. This ain't even about uh, Ahmad. This is about the other young brother who was running from the police. I don't want to get off track with Ahmad, but it's kind of like the same kind of thing. Not really though, because Duke was on the run, but it don't matter that he was on the run. Them police shot him multitude of times. They yeah, tased they them and shot them several times, which makes absolutely no sense mm -hmm. to me. Anyway, let me read this. There was a young black lady from Gary who was shot and burned to death in Indianapolis. There was a young black lady from Merrillville who was shot to death in front of her son in Indianapolis. No national coverage, no social media buzz. But when a young black man who tapes himself in the act of engaging in a high-speed chase from IMPD runs and is killed, here comes the national coverage here comes the social media buzz. Seems like Indianapolis, black lives don't matter when the victim is a woman or when a black life is pulling the trigger. React. Um, the news is gonna show what, see, this is the thing, even like with the comment before, it's like back in the day, it's 95 and shit. Black on black crime was the news. That was the news. Oh, we sell crack to each other. Oh, we kill each other all fucking day. So then we switch it up. Okay. Well, we're not on black on black crime. We're not finna show that shit all day all on the news. We're going to show when the fuck y'all killing us and shit because we're going to lighten up on us killing each other and shit. We like, we need to glorify that. Like now we seeing that y'all fucking us up. So we glorifying that. And now you got black people talking about, oh, where, when Ray Ray get killed, where's the cameras and shit. Okay, so now you want to take it back to 95, where all we showing is black on black crime again. So let, like, me give you, let me give you something on that. First of all, I don't like black on black crime because crime is based off proximity. In a white neighborhood, there are all white people only see white people, so crimes committed against white people are with, uh, under that terminology would be white on white crime which I, you never hear that it absolutely makes no sense whatsoever Caucasian on Caucasian. if you're in a black neighborhood or a black a chocolate city there's going to be crime because there's criminals in every fucking you know what I'm saying social yeah. environment but we it feel like we the only ones that be like black on black crime woody 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 woo and that's another, that's another part of a race that was brainwashed in another race because you don't hear Mexican on Mexican crime. No, you, you don't. You don't hear Cuban on Cuban crime. You don't hear Haitian on Haitian crime. Or, no, or, I'm, not, uh, I'm not saying that it doesn't happen, but I, I know you don't hear it. That, but you don't just hear that's, that's a term. You hear but black on black, black, black crime. Black crime is a fucking term, and it was worn on shirts, stop the black on black crime and all this shit, but you ain't never hear that when you got the Northaniels and the Southsiders which are both Latino, killing the fuck out of each other, the, you ain't never heard, oh, stop the Mexican on Mexican crime or even that being a thing to be talked about. So here's a quick, this question. They say, how do we save ourselves from them if we can't save ourselves from us? To me, and I don't want to call nobody stupid, <laughs> but I really think that that's a very, um, hmm. What's a good word to say that that point is wrong? Um, just um, ignorant. Just it's it, lack of fact, lack the lack of any truth. Like, what do you mean? Like, lack of meaning. What the fuck are you mean? What do you mean by that? Sometimes people just be talking, man. People just be talking without even gathering it, like like the the necessary information they need to even come to a conclusion to what the fuck they be talking about. I can agree with that. I feel no, like I feel like social media has made that a very like in your face like, kind of thing. Yeah, and it's like you gotta follow a wave, man. You ever you ever you ever like peep out like shit on the internet be like a wave. It's like shit be trending, shit be hot, you know what I'm saying? And people be following that shit, like they be doing dumbass challenges. So do you think what do you think about the Versus hashtag battles? What do you think about the hashtag thing then? Do you think when people are using hashtags, that that's a part of um, the fad machine, when there are lives involved behind these hashtags? I feel like they should use anybody, anybody who has a platform and built anything off a platform should use your platform to save a life. 
or try to. And if you're not doing that, there's no reason for you to have that. Let me ask you a question. Do you, let, tell me if you agree with this. My cousin was killed. My best friend was murdered, not by police officers, but by black men. My family literally had to fight the system for damn near four years while the killer was allowed to move freely, despite publicly everyone knew he, in fact, killed him. He was a DJ. Many people still patronized his business. My best friend was murdered by some lowlife who wanted to rob him. So basically, what you guys are saying is because my cousin and best friend wasn't killed by cops, they don't deserve as much outrage as someone who was killed by a cop. No, we're not saying that. Hold on, but... let me finish. Hold on, let me finish. Uh, no one is saying don't hold these cops accountable, but have the same outrage when your fellow black people are killing each other. It's all we saying. The message y'all send in our families is their deaths don't matter because they were killed by a fellow black person. That's that's ignorant again. What? Yeah. Because the the reason the the reason of the outrage for someone being upset when someone get killed by a cop is because they hold themselves to a standard higher than a citizen. They a, don't, a civilian. They are a served civilian. and protect. Yeah, they they are a public servant. Right. They don't consider themselves regular civilian when they're out there in the line of duty. So they should move higher than Ray Ray and this nigga who gang banging. And they shot at each other on some gang gang shit. The everybody love to fucking hear in every song and love to throw up and every damn thing. But then when the shit happened, now they talking about we should be outraged on some gang gang shit, on some real shit. That sound pussy. Like leave that shit alone and let the cop killing and shit. And when they dealing with that shit, they deal with that shit. Like other motherfuckers, they I re like let me get off that. That be pussy shit. Like don't don't they oh my cut my fellow black friend shot my other friend so we should all be but they shooting each other on some gang gang shit. You know what shot that's like, other. right? You know what that's like? That's like seeing a police officer visually seeing a police. Okay, so first of all, let me explain the outrage to you, person or people. The outrage comes from blatantly witnessing somebody being killed. And it spread all over the internet and the news. And the people that did the thing aren't held I'm accountable free. for doing the killing. Mm -hmm. Now, that young that young person that said the thing about their cousin being killed and they rest in peace to your cousin and your best friend. Indeed. Um, if you know, if people knew in the hood that in that hood or whatever neighborhood, whatever area you were at, if they knew who the person was that did it, and they have solid evidence that Duke did commit the murder, then that's a whole nother conversation. That, that's a conversation that we were talking about earlier with the snitch rules and the snitch factors mm -hmm. or whatever. The, the community, not the community as a whole, but certain people in that community allowed Duke to still live his life regularly even though they knew he killed somebody. Now you got to ask. Right in the post, know who the fuck did it. Word. Now you got to ask. <laughs> how, do you, how, do they, how do they know that he killed him? Man. That's an important but question, too. Once they start fighting the case, maybe we'll get outraged with him. Right. So here's the thing. You see the people that killed this person. Right. You see them on video, and you know that they haven't been arrested. At some point, you don't know who killing like a normal killing in like the hood or whatever, neighborhood or whatever. A normal killing there, you might not know who the murderer was. Now, until they find the murderer, if they find the murderer and they don't bring them to justice, okay, then you can be upset. Like you, I don't feel like people can be like, my cousin got killed and nobody was outraged, but this, this person that no one knows got killed and everybody's outraged. There are different parameters as I to why. I feel like this situation is just like Trayvon Martin's. And if people don't, if they could sit there and not say that, Tra if they can say that Trayvon Martin's was a reason for Black Lives Matter and things to come together, why is this any different from the Trayvon Martin shoot? Why are there so many Black All Lives Matter people? 
the I don't because the brainwashing, the news. You have some black people who uh, called the fucking police station ass. At the end of the day, man, all these fucking fuck ass organizations, they getting money out of it. And they used in a negative in order to gain some type of finances. Yeah, they just yeah. they just trying to get money out of it, Instead man. So that's why I don't follow life. shit like that, man. Because what organizations? Just like like Black, black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, all that bullshit, bro. Because somebody making money behind that shit. Well, say for instance, somebody who got a on. platform in the I think that's one. an unfair assessment because no. money is being made off of anything period so unless black lives matter from my understanding was originally um a means to bring awareness to a situation that was affecting black people yeah it's what that's it started what, off as there's nothing it, wrong it with that something different, totally different i think but, that was but, supposed to continue and that was supposed to stay in place for a long time and nothing was supposed to contest that and we was right. not supposed to let anybody contest that like period so when it came with the all lives matter and then yeah. anyone that's black going right. with that you know what right. y'all are right all lives do matter okay all lives that's do matter but honestly we always been at the bottom of the boat that's how they right. even exactly. us so focus so focus on understand. the point but white people get killed by police officers as right. well but what what's being placed in the media what, how many unarmed black people are being shot in public by police and shit not happening to them? And then every now and then something happens to them and we supposed to be like, oh, well, uh, they got this bitch or they got that person. But you gotta, you gotta look at, you gotta look Hold at. Hold on, let me finish. So it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be cool because we have these examples. It's almost like giving crumbs to a motherfucker like, yo, take this. And you, you can't complain no more. Go ahead, Jess. But it's like uh, the news and shit. They like to add spice to shit too, cause it be a, it be hella murders that be going on with other like ethnic groups. But when as soon as it like come to us, it's like a spotlight. It's like, oh, this is spicy. This is this is this is shake them up. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they push that shit, and that's what it seemed like to me. Cause it, it be a lot of bullshit that go on in Vegas. We don't hear about that shit on the news. Yeah. Let's, we, hear, let's we, hear about it on, we hear about it on Vegas news. Yeah, you gotta go specific Vegas news. Yeah, I'll be, I'll that's, be watching that's that regional. Show. That's regional. You're gonna okay, so. you're gonna hear about there are murders everywhere in every community and but every I do I do understand that like when it's something like oh say for instance a fucking sixteen year old girl go missing in Virginia, that shit make national news until they find her body in the woods. Say yeah. for instance a sixteen year old girl go missing in Chicago. Don't nobody know except for the niggas on Facebook that they shared it to. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they don't, they don't look at us like that and and go but searching that's, for us. That's actually not that's, that's actually not proving that's your wrong. point, Jess. That's actually counteracting your point. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 kind it's just they just they just not I don't know, man. It's brainwashed, bro. It's just they don't they show what they sh want to show and show what it's like they try to make us look bad. About. That's what I'm trying to say. Man. Basically, they are just trying to make us, look, make us bad. look bad and then to have that's other what I, that's what I, you know, that's what I have mean. other black people rock with them to also help them make us look bad. Make us look bad. This bad shit happening to us. Make us look bad. How? I mean, as far as like. The only thing that they show on us is when something like this happens, where exactly. um, it, this is not a bad situation on us. No, no. This let me hear from Let me hear them. from Jess. This is just exactly what he was saying. Just like this whole situation that's that's conjuring right now with the dude getting popped and shit. It's like it be it be hella other cases of of situation. Prime example. Uh, I can't even I can't even say it because I don't even remember it all the way, so I can't even. I'm I'm just trying to understand your concern. What what is your what is your concern? Are you concerned that national news on mishaps of black people is it's oh, putting a stigma to oh. other? It's like making a stigma on other people on like it's just negativity towards brown those individuals. You know what I'm saying? And it's how they, it's just the way it is. 
So you think that's how the news that's how the news, news portrays? The, the news is setting up things will have people going with a all lives matter instead of a black lives matter movement. Mm-hmm. Basically, is what the news is doing. Yo, you keep saying mm-hmm, but what he's saying is not what you're saying. Like he I'm, I'm he's saying hearing... he's saying the same thing. He basically no, he's saying not. how the he news said... he basically saying how the news takes things and twist it. That's what I'm saying. How they do with us no, when, they, when they when they when they. That's how I said when they when they do with us when it's they, when they put us the on news, the camera. It's not that the news take it and twist it. It's, they're not going to show it. They're not going to talk about it. They're going to talk about Kanye West on opioids. They're going to talk about. But that's people, twisting it though, because they not giving you. They're not twisting the shit. They're going to show you what they want you to look at. That's it. They just boom. This is where you're going to turn your head and look. This is what the news is made to do because when, like I said, when it's a 16 year old Caucasian woman missing, and I mean, she's not, she ain't even been dead. They ain't got no damn ransom letter. They ain't got shit. This shit is national. And this is happening in Iowa, but I'm hearing about it in Vegas, Gary, Chicago, everywhere. I'm hearing about it. But when that damn girl is 16 and her mama didn't call the police and she in Chicago and she been missing for goddamn three days, Ain't no news being shown on that until one of us are being killed and then black lives come out about it and then white all lives matter come out about it. Somebody to go against black lives matter. Right, exactly. Black, all lives matter yeah. is a counter, is a contradiction. A counter, to black. Yeah. It's like, so it's like, it's, uh, cool. it's like a it's diversion not. from focusing. So if black people have been being, um, being, being when mishandled been by police, for a long period of time and you say, listen, we tired of the disappropriation of how black people are being treated by law enforcement. So we have to say black lives matter because obviously lives matter to y'all, but it don't seem like black lives matter as much. So we say black lives matter. And then somebody says, nah, you're not about to put all that attention on trying to rectify the <laughs> no, situation no, no. of misappropriation <laughs> of, of force on black people, we're gonna say all lives matter. Yeah. When Black Lives Matter is not um, a, a statement saying that only black lives matter. No. It's saying black lives matter as well as everybody else's lives. That's all it's saying. So all lives matter is a diversion from the point that we focusing on. If a motherfucker could sit there and say, I don't rock with all uh, black lives matter, I rock with all lives matter, then they have to be satisfied with what happened with slavery and everything else. They're like 100 complete, like I'm good with everything. Like the world is great now. Let me say this, this is what I wrote. I'm tired of people saying if black lives don't matter to us, then they don't matter to anyone else or whatever weak shit y'all be saying. Black folks could stand hand in hand in fucking harmony and not kill a single black person for years to come and still get killed by racists. It does not matter if somebody don't like you for whatever reason that they don't like you. It does not matter. They will continue to do what they've been doing. I want to know, are we the only folks who turn on us every fucking chance we get? And that's not all black people. That's just a specific group of people that I'm talking about. No, I um, believe that. Hold on, let me finish. Police, police kill one of us, and you niggas be like, but what about, but why? Why don't y'all do this when such and such? When will we? And my question is, when will you? I'm hearing people saying shit like peaceful protests don't motherfuck woo woo. I understand the sentiment and the, of the anger with seeing that thinking that peaceful protests don't do nothing but if you want to make an example go ahead and be an example run out there with your knife or your pistol whatever and try to call yourself getting some street justice against some white motherfuckers that did some bullshit to us again and figure out what's going to happen to you the moment you go into your vigilante justice stage and you're not going to rev up N- large numbers of black people to go fuck up shit because that's what they mm-hmm. expect us to do anyway. And the first thing they're gonna say is, "Look at these niggas being niggas." Yeah, yeah, exactly. For real. Yeah, that's that's giving so all lives doing? matters the uh, power that they need. All lives matter now because that black person attacked that motherfucker that was part of the 
I'm sure he was a Black Lives Matter. You already, member. you already see them. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> right. Well, I'm sure it's it's good that they arrested them dudes, but you see what they were saying. Yeah. The dude, prosecutor was trying. He, he didn't want to arrest them. Or they were saying he attacked me. That's why I shot him. You mean to tell me that a motherfucker with these flesh and bone fists is swinging at you, and you telling me two buck shots from a fucking shotgun is the same? Misappropriated force always ends with a corpse. Not only that, big, the man you, was hold on. you stop. You big, you big redneck hillbilly motherfucker, big cornbread, <laughs> corn smoking ass nigga. You can't fight. You run up on a skinny ass black dude with a fucking long ass shotgun and do <laughs> punch you in your face and you like, oh, I can match that. But, but that don't make sense to me, man. Nah, he got to do the time for that. He did the crime. He got to do the time. That's what it is. That ain't no Straight fucking self-defense. That one case, I can't remember Duke's name. I can't remember what city they was in. It was in the news for a while too. White dude pulls up on cat, on cat daddy's um his woman and his baby was in the well, one of his babies was in the car and he was in the store with his other baby. Duke pulls up on the woman talking crazy to her. Get out this parking spot. You're not supposed to be over here. Woo 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 woo. First of all, motherfucker, that's that white entitled shit where motherfuckers feel like they just run the motherfucking everything. Cool the fuck Damn. out. Let the let the mm -hmm. motherfuckers that handle that shit handle that shit. He run up on a woman talking crazy to a woman in front of her child. Duke comes out of the place and sees his woman in distress from some strange motherfucker talking crazy to her. And he goes and does what the fuck he's supposed to do. Get the fuck away from my woman. So he pu he pushes dude, do the bitch. He hits the ground. He falls on the ground. Instead of anything else, the first thing this nigga did was pulled out a pistol, bro, and shot dude dead in his chest in front of his woman and his fucking child. Dude died in front of his woman and his child because you approached the motherfucker you had no business approaching. Like, George Zimmerman, bitch ass. Man. Approach Trayvon. You had no fucking business approaching him. So what is the reason? These motherfuckers the that just approach dude, you situation. have no reason approaching them. Fuck out of here. Anything that happens, the first thing is you approach them. That's the first wrong thing. Anything after that nigga is on you because you initiated the contact. Yeah. Yeah. And you not no yeah. fucking police. That shit was this shit was all premeditated, man, because they thought about doing it because they, they they felt comfortable enough to do it in the first place because they knew they had they had the shit to do what they wanted. And these niggas jumped in trucks, said that somebody was motherfucking running down the street. Oh, we know who he is because we saw him before. We've been getting robbed. Niggas been hitting licks on the crib. First off, where's the evidence of the, of the robberies in the area? But how do y'all know it's this guy in particular? Like, what all on your white radar made you believe that this is the black man that's jogging down the street? We found him immediately because you got your shotgun and your guns in your hand already. Y'all outside. Y'all feel like he's he's in the neighborhood. He's down the street. I know where he is. I'm finna go see him. Grab my guns. Load them bitches and they're cocked. Okay, there he is. We see him. He's still running. He's jogging. I guess he's running from the abandoned house that they said he was stealing nothing out of because it's abandoned. You can't be stealing shit from nothing. So he, he got the nothing in his hand. He obviously ain't got shit in his hand. Especially if he fucking shit. running. If he fucking he's jogging down the street. The what the fuck is. do we hey, got his hand? He's looking to kill a nigga, cock, man. That's all okay, they was doing. Okay, he cocked the shotgun. They, they pull a truck up this way. This dumbass in the back truck pulls out his phone. He get to recording it. Okay, I'm gonna record this. Look, uh, he, go you, Billy Ju he go junior. He jumps out the driver's seat. If you look at that video and that. see anything that Ahmad did wrong, we got a problem. Ahmad ain't yeah. did That's shit wrong. I'm just saying period. this is this is how these Caucasian motherfuckers was revving this up. Pops on the back of that truck. Junior's yeah. driving that truck with the shotgun in there. Pop got the Trey Five Seven in the back. I got my phone because I want to record this shit. Just in case anybody need any evidence, I got it. We see him. Junior jumps out the truck. Pop stay in the back of the truck, as you can see with his gun. Get him, Junior. Get, Get him, Junior. Stop his ass. In, in case hey, he boy, gets we you. Hey, boy, to talk to you. Let me put and these bullets in here. And he got his shotgun, and it's already cocked. Hey, come here. And the dude, like, oh, shit, what the fuck? What the fuck? He give him one. Dude, like, oh, he stumbled a little bit. He grabbing on the shotgun with him. Don't hit me with that shit. He swing on him again. Foul trying to drop him. He get hit in the side. Ah, Shot him again to make sure it was ended. As dude is dead laying on that ground, 
and Junior walking, sweating from this battle with this young black man that he just had to do today. His pops jumped down off the truck. Now, now it's okay for him to jump off the truck. Now he can jump down off the truck. He's in a, a congratulatory stance. Yes. Now it's like, Junior, you did what the fuck you were supposed to do. You got your first kill. Now, for it to be, today is... Um, and this happened May 7th, uh, February 23rd, 23rd, I believe. And for it to be May 7th, the men were at home eating dinner and fucking bitches and doing them. And they to just now be getting arrested for any African-American to ever say that, nah, man, this, this got to be some all lives matter because, I mean, he could have ran the other way. <laughs> that, that's what they're saying. He could have ran the other way. What other way, nigga? By the way, the thing is, he went around the side of the truck. Like, you could see him veering off while he was driving. Yeah, he veered like, off. And they, if their whole plan is to get him, their plan is to get him. Veering off not going to do they shit. They arrested two people. They should, they should have the fucking cameraman arrested, too. It should be three people arrested. I hope it was. How many people did they arrest? How many people did they arrest? Two. They, got the, they got the pop in the sun. They ain't got the cameraman. Well, they ain't got old Roddy. They need they need to get the Roddy. They need to get him. And ain't no telling who was standing on the back of his truck, honestly, that they ain't even spoke about. All right, somebody else. Because when he went when he went that way and he was gonna go that way and take off running down there, who's to say it wasn't the nigga on the back of the truck right there? Like, no, nah, you can't even go around this way. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't know unless they was there. And ain't nobody gonna tell the truth about exactly what happened. Hell no. You never gonna hear you never gonna hear the audio of some shit like that that we need to hear. Or pops in the background cheering them on. You can tell by his body like that. It could have been another on. motherfucker on the truck. Why he was why why was he so comfortable with just grabbing his phone and he ain't got his gun? Because it's a nigga standing on the back of his truck with a burner, too. So when he did come around that way and he stopped and just started fighting this one with the gun that's on him, maybe this is the ob- he ran out of options. You don't, he could have ran out of options. Like, shit, I can't go that way, that way. I could turn back, but there's so many burners on me. Word. I'm finna die anyway. Yo, who gonna turn their back on burners, bruh? For real. I don't know nobody that's gonna do that shit. If somebody yeah, pull up on you and you got a cat in the back of a truck with a 357 Magnum and you got a dude with a shotgun on you, you gonna I'm turn your back and run the other I'm a way? Freeze. No, I'm a freeze. Bro, I see give it to me in my face. I seen somebody that <laughs> said that actually literally said, bruh, you do not attack a man with a gun. What the fuck? Hold do on. Do? Hold what do you do on. then? What do you do Hold then? What do you do then? You turn around and you turn your face away from him and run away from him. That makes if sense. If Gucci man didn't attack them niggas with the burners, his ass would be dead too. Exactly. Nigga, you attack the niggas with the burner. What the fuck? That's the first nigga you go after. Fuck everybody else. He got the gun, nigga. I'm ducking and dodging trying to get to that guy. It makes no sense I to me, man. I can fall on him. Everybody's safe in this bitch. Like, what do you mean? Like, what the fuck? You t- like, there's some pussies out here. And it's what it is. Like, niggas ain't sticking to the G code. Niggas gonna rap with snitches. Niggas gonna be bitches. Niggas gonna swear he should have ran dig deck down the street when crackers pull up on him with choppers like a bitch. Nah, he fought. And he died with honor. Nigga, he died as a man. You feel me? In the grass as a man. He stood on his and he went for it. He stood on ten toes. Some motherfuckers he don't know approach him. Some motherfuckers, some racist ass motherfuckers. Salute to Amai. Motherfuckers come up on him on some shit, on some bullshit, some shit he don't he don't know nothing about. He trying to figure out why the fuck these motherfuckers rolling up on me, talking this shit and holding out these pistols, and I ain't got no pistol on me. So my thing with that too is you want to talk all this aggressive aggression shit. You running up on unarmed people with no, with no, with, with, they got no weapon, and you sitting here with all this artillery. A shotgun and a 357 Magnum against a nigga jogging makes absolutely no sense. How right. many niggas you seen jogging with fireworks on them? Jogging with fireworks jogging. on them. If they got a, <laughs> if they got a dually on them, they not jogging. No, we're not jogging down the street. We're not. We're not. We're not trying to burn calories. Word, nigga. you're not burning, burning calories with a, with a with a with a with a with a dually on your shit. Cool out. 
No, so you, you pull up with these weapons, you're trying to do something. And he saw that they was trying to do something. And he and tried to he tried to he tried to he tried to protect his life. It didn't unfortunately and, and it didn't happen that as way. As a black man dying trying to protect yourself against Caucasian people, the only thing that you would hope for in death is that black people stand up for you. Somebody scream your name from the mountaintop. Somebody like the Black Lives Movement march for you because the news not going to do it. They not going to make it in your favor. We not. So for any black person to say that black lives matter, nah, I'm going with all lives matter, man. That's just sound racist to say all black lives matter. That's because nobody screams our names from the mountaintops. Nobody congratulate us when we have to go through these battles that we go through every motherfucking day with people shooting us down and shit like that. And the ones who die in these situations carelessly get killed. Trayvon to this guy to to fucking Grant being choked out by cops and niggas saying I can't breathe and they choke him to death. And y'all didn't tell me, oh, that's Black Lives Matter still. That's thousand little races right there. Hold up. Let me find the issue uh, with Duke. Uh, I can't even think of Duke's name. Uh, Sean. Gary. Let me see if I can find this shit. Was it Garrett? Uh, I think so. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Said the incident began around 6 p.m. when, when officers began pursuing a man who they observed to be driving recklessly. After the driver exited the car, an officer chased him on foot before gunfire was exchanged at around 6.14 p.m. Police said in a press release without revealing who first fired, of course, they wouldn't reveal who fired first. In an unconfirmed Facebook video of the incident, at least 13 or 14, 13 or 14 gunshots can be heard. In another video, a detective who arrived after the shooting can be heard saying, looks like it's going to be a closed casket, homie. That's quotes. Those are quotes. We are aware of inappropriate comments made by an IMPD detective on the live stream. Indianapolis MPD Chief Randall Taylor said at a Thursday press conference, let me be clear, these comments are unacceptable and unbecoming of our police department. While Taylor did not confirm the authenticity of the Facebook live stream, he did stress he was concerned with the things on social media stating he thinks that some comments online lack trust as to what occurred. Authorities have not yet identified the name of the driver, but said he and the officer who shot him were both black men. Family members identified the driver to local media outlets as 21-year-old Drejan. Drejan, Sean Reed, the officer who fired the fatal shot has been placed on administrative leave pending further investigation. Damn, when the, when the fuck? This just happened. Yeah, that's nap, too. Like, like this just happened like some hours ago, yeah? This shit, um, I don't know if it was hours ago. It's like, like 20 hours ago. This happened on the 7th, I guess. Today, this just happened today. Now we're turning to Indianapolis, where police fatally shoot a man after a chase, and part of that entire thing was captured on Facebook Live. Authorities say that the man was killed after shooting at an officer who chased him for reckless driving. Family members at the scene identified the victim as Sean Reed. Reed reportedly live streamed part of the chase on Facebook. So Colby Thielen is covering the story for us from our Indianapolis affiliate WTTV. Uh, Colby, uh, you know, the video is online for anyone to see. It's surreal seeing as we know exactly um, what the outcome of that video is going to be. Can you sort of tell us what happened to the video? They threw that whole damn gun on the ground. That guy. was my first time seeing that. Like, I Throw had the it. whole damn case away. The police didn't set that little guy up. They set him up, man. They did. They wanted him. They wanted him. Well, I don't know why. Whatever he did or whatever he have done, 
Uh, or they wanted him. They got him. They got him. And it's a fucking sad story because he probably didn't shoot at no damn cop that day and they had man not a pistol on him. And it didn't seem like he was too drunk the way he was calling, telling motherfuckers to come pick, come get him. <laughs> he need help, come get me. It didn't look like he was too pop to me, but I'm just saying, man, you need a all oh, you need a black lives. Oh, uh, your know, Black Lives Matter when when the, when the situation look like that every time we in the news, that's what the news show of us getting slain. It ain't never a time where they showing one of us missing and one of us being recovered by seventeen fucking firefighters who found us in the woods and it's yeah, it's a bright day for that black family. They got their little Jimmy back. The thing too, um, I was trying to think of, I was trying to think of this one thing, man, somebody had posted because that was like, oh, well, Sean Reed was running from the police. Oh, well, ooh, ah, the boo, 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 boo. That shot a thousand times, nigga. In the same state of Indiana, there were two white dudes who led the police on a high speed chase. They alive and well. They caught them, yeah. subdued them, did their thing. Yeah. If that motherfucking Dude. white boy who shot up that goddamn high school and they we went in and got him and put the gun down, we didn't even have to kill him. Yo, people <laughs> think it's a thing because they're like one of the cops was black. So what? That nigga a buster. Yeah, like he yeah, a motherfucking you know what he wanted, he under? No, just he just black by a motherfucking circumstance. That motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Yo, he, man. He didn't choose to be an advocate for black people in the community. He chose to be on the same team to harass and shit because they obviously are not moving in a, a decent nature to even call them cops, to even call them uh, uh, men of the law or anything of that nature. I honestly have no problem with real cops doing real cop work. I have no problem with that. And it is much needed in certain communities and area for real cops to do real cop work. But as you can see today, we have cops that are calling our women bitches and choke slamming our kids and shooting and doing, niggas and talking about it's gonna be a close casket, homie. homie. Homie calling us a bitch, you bet not run to a motherfucker who was just jaywalking. <laughs> like, where where the fuck do the line draw when we can say these are cops and these are a gang of fucking terrorists, nigga, that are being hired by the government to do this. Because that's what they act like, fucking terrorists, man. Yeah, man, that's shit crazy. And motherfucking gangs do. Like I said, even in Las Vegas, the biggest gang in Las Vegas, Nevada, is Metro Police, period. Let you think any of y'all blocks any of y'all Crips or Bloods or GDs or Vice Lords gonna come into Las Vegas, Nevada and run a block or anything out here? You, you gotta, first off, it's no entrapment law. In certain places, you run up on somebody who you think is a cop and you ask them, are they a cop? If they are a cop, they have to tell you by law. Here, this is why stings are done. They can that don't, lie to that you. don't necessarily mean they're going to tell you. Yeah, they were, that's what they were supposed to But another thing, yeah. I mean, shit, <laughs> do they ever tell the truth? <laughs> All right, so where do, where, do we, uh, where do we end on the Arbery and Sean Reed situations? Basically, fucked up situation. Nobody was there to know exactly what happened. To say that man should have ran back the other way, you are ignorant. To say that, oh, it's not about Black Lives Matter, all lives matter, you are ignorant. And to say that, oh, anything but what happened is what happened, you are ignorant. Because nobody knows what really happened, what was said, what was yelled at him, what scared him and startled him, what made him want to fight that guy with the gun, what made him not be able to get around the car that way, if the guy with the cell phone had another guy, why is only two of those guys arrested today? Thank God, after months of waiting, these two people are arrested. Now let's <laughs> see if, if full justice takes course. 
Right. You sip it, make sure you sip it the right way. And you if they open it. up your motherfucking state, that don't mean go outside crazy. If you smoke it, make sure you smoke in the right way, and that means right. no backyard book no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just seen Country Black, matter of fact, if you check out the next uh DJ Vlad, it's Country Black. So Burn. yeah, check them out. <laughs> if you in your hand, you will see it's a big face from me. From me. <laughs> exactly. That's what that I nigga crunchy. Me. The police stopped that nigga and he was like, oh man, this map. I thought this was that white. <laughs> Damn, got me again. Why would you tell the police that shit? <laughs> shit, cuz he don't do math. Don't try to take me to jail for that.